A Detroit City Council member is planning to introduce a new ordinance that will regulate medical marijuana dispensaries in the city. Yeah, Councilman James Tate says he is working on a draft proposal that would dictate where medical marijuana dispensaries could be located. For instance, they must be a certain distance, say, from schools, parks, and churches. Right now, there are not any rules on the books to govern dispensaries. Tate hopes to introduce his proposal as early as next week. Now, speaking of marijuana, a new poll reveals Michiganders are opening up to the idea of legalizing pot. According to the latest Michigan radio poll, 56% of Michiganders think the state should legalize marijuana and tax it. 40% want it to remain illegal. The issue is expected to be on the November 2016 ballot, so we're going to see what you, the voters, decide. Now, if it's approved, you know, people over 21 would be able to grow, buy, and use marijuana for recreational purposes. Joining us now to discuss these new poll results are State Senator Rick Jones, he's live in Lansing, and Attorney Thomas Levine with the Cannabis Council here at Broadcast House. Thank you both so much for joining us this afternoon. All right, Senator, I'm going to start with you here. Where do you stand on this, to legalize or not, to tax or not? Well, as a former police officer, I don't support legalizing another social drug. We'll have more car accidents. We'll have more people that won't be able to find jobs. And it certainly won't help our kids in high school. Thomas, you're a board member, as I mentioned, with the Cannabis Council. Let's begin with you with just where your group stands on this as well. Yes, the main thing MILegalize.com would accomplish would be if you violate these regulations, it's no longer a felony. You would not be in prison. So it would stop the madness of mass incarceration that this has brought. The National Highway Traffic and Safety has found no correlation between the amount of marijuana consumed and the inability of a driver to, to drive. The current prohibition is not keeping it out of the hands of our children. Any child, child can get it these days. These dispensary owners would definitely require a card, and they're not going to risk that license by selling to a minor. Now, Senator Jones, back to you again on this. We saw the poll numbers right now. It's, it seems the pendulum is swinging a little past where you're comfortable right now, and people are starting to approve of this idea. We're talking about how we're going to fix our roads. We need money. So how about a pot for potholes proposal? You know, that's a popular saying right now. Let's legalize pot for potholes. It would not be enough money to fix our roads. It, it is a bad deal for Michigan. Now, I have nothing at all against medical marijuana. In fact, I support medical marijuana if it's done appropriately. But legalizing another social drug will cause more accidents, will be another Colorado, and we're going to have problems with people that won't test, uh, they won't test clean, so they won't be able to get jobs, so we'll have more welfare. It's tough because you're saying something about more car accidents in Colorado. Thomas, you're saying the opposite, that there haven't been, there's not been any correlation. Is the truth somewhere in the middle here? Yes, there's been actually a decrease in road fatalities in Colorado since they've allowed adults to use this rather than alcohol. That's the thing. It's opposite alcohol. If you're a bunch of 21-year-olds uh, and you have a choice now, well, we don't have to go to the bar and get drunk and get in an accident. It's good to present that choice. Uh, alcohol is much more dangerous. And Senator, you also said we, we risk becoming another Colorado, but uh, what I've seen here, Colorado taxed uh, pot at 25%, and they brought in $58 million of revenue the first year. You say it's not enough money to fix the roads, but $58 million is making a big dent in the problem with that and other things. $58 million is a drop in the bucket. We need well over a billion dollars to fix our roads. We just cut start 50 someplace. million out of the movie uh, credits. There's 50 million dollars. Uh, you know, this is going, we believe, to a ballot issue. I guess if, if enough signatures. Is that because, Senator Jones, that there just is not the support in the legislature right now? So this is uh, marijuana groups who support this are taking it the other way to the voters instead? That's correct. A lot of people think they're going to make a lot of money on this, so they're paying for signatures to put it on the ballot. Mr. Levine, what's your impression? Do you think this could pass in a ballot initiative, uh, judging from where you see the polls lately? Definitely. And the legislature's falling down on the job. They're not taking care of patients and caregivers, and uh, they're still being charged with felonies despite their best efforts. Um, Senator Jones, you did mention there, you said the words paying for signatures. What do, what do you base that on? Do you believe that's happening? Well, from what I've been told, we have two groups out there that simply want to legalize marijuana. They're well-financed, 
And typically what happens is they hire people and then they pay them per signature. Mr. Levine, who's financing you? The uh, caregivers and, and patients are all chipping in with respect to am I legalized. We're really the grassroots effort. Now the MCC, they just have a couple of donors as I understand it. They want a limited number, you know, it's a big business proposal basically, where they would set it up similar to uh, alcohol distribution to, to have m very few grows and very few distributors. It's a big business power grab, whereas ours would allow for licensing of small businesses. Senator Jones, we're going to give you the last word. This is the wrong thing for Michigan, you think? I grew up in the 60s. I saw a lot of A students turn into D students. It doesn't help society. It'll make people lazier. They won't be able to get jobs. You'll pay more welfare. Attorney Thomas Levine and Senator Rick Jones, we both thank you very much for your time this afternoon.